The Yule log, Yule clog, or Christmas block is a specially selected log burnt on a hearth as a Christmas tradition in a number of countries in Europe. The origin of the folk custom is unclear. Numerous scholars have observed that, like other traditions associated with Yule, such as the Yule boar, the custom may ultimately derive from Germanic paganism. Origins in Santa Claus, A Biography, historian Jerry Bowler notes that the Yule Log was one of the most widespread Christmas traditions in early modern Europe, with the first recording of its appearance dating to 1184. Bowler notes that the tradition's roots are debated, some saying it is an enfeebled version of the ancient Celtic human sacrifices, and others saying it's simply related to a feudal obligation of acquiring firewood. Nevertheless, the log was a huge block, lasting for the 12 days of Christmas, and it was not burned completely its first year, part of it was saved to light the following year's Yule log. While the mostly burned wood waited for its duty to light a new Yule log, it was kept around the house to ward off a range of misfortunes, including toothaches, mildew, lightning, house fires, hail and chillblains, and inflammation of small blood vessels brought on from exposure to cold. The log had other magical properties, particularly in parts of northern Spain and southern France. There, Bowler notes, a remarkable feature of the log's powers is its ability to defecate gifts. According to the Encyclopedia of English Folklore, the first clear references to the tradition appear in the 17th century, and thus it is unclear where or when the custom extends, however, it has long been observed that the custom may have much earlier origins, possibly extending from or echoing customs observed in Germanic paganism. As early as 1725, Henry Bourne sought an origin for the Yule Log in Anglo-Saxon paganism. Our forefathers, when the common devices of Eve were over, and night was come on, were wont to light up candles of an uncommon size, which were called Christmas candles, and to lay a log of wood upon the fire, which they termed a Yule clog, or Christmas block. These were to illuminate the house, and turn the night into day, which custom, in some measure, is still kept up in the northern parts. It hath, in all probability, been derived from the Saxons. For Bede tells us, that sick this very night was observed in this land before, by the heathen Saxons. They began, says he, their year on the eight of the calendars of January, which is now our Christmas party, and the very night before, which is now holy to us, was by them called Madrenic, or the night of the mothers. The Yule clog therefore hath probably been a part of those ceremonies which were performed. D. That night. S. Ceremonies. It seems to have been used, as an emblem of the return of the sun, and the lengthening of the days. For as both December and January were called Julie or Yule, upon account of the sun's returning, and the increase of the days, so, I am apt to believe, the log has had the name of the Yule log, from its being burnt as an emblem of the returning sun, and the increase of its light and heat. This was probably the reason of the custom among the heathen Saxons, but I cannot think the observation of it was continued for the same reason, after Christianity was embraced. More recently, G. R. Willey, 1983, says, Communal bond bonds with feasting and jollification have a pagan root. Ritual bonfires at the beginning of November once signaled the start of another year and the onset of winter. Their subsequent incorporation into the Christian calendar, to become part and parcel of the festival of Christmas, and, later, their association with the new year, January 1st, is an intriguing story. Many, if not all, of the various customs and traditions at one time extensively witnessed at Christmas and the old new year stem from this common source, e.g. Twelfth Night Bonfires, including Old Meg from Worcestershire and burning the bush from Herefordshire, first footing, etc., any traces of primitive rituals such as scattering of burnt ashes or embers as an omen of fertilization or purification have long since disappeared. The events of Yule are generally held to have centered on midwinter, although specific dating is a matter of debate, and feasting, drinking, and sacrifice blot were involved. Scholar Rudolf Simic comments that the pagan Yule feast had a pronounced religious character and comments that it is uncertain whether the Germanic Yule feast still had a function in the cult of the dead and in the veneration of the ancestors, a function which the mid-winter sacrifice certainly held for the West European Stone and Bronze Ages. 
The traditions of the Yule log, Yule goat, Yule boar, Sonargolter, still reflected in the Christmas ham, Yule singing, and others stem from Yule customs, and customs which Simic takes as Indicat, ing, the significance of the feast in pre-Christian times. Modern practices The Yule Log is recorded in the folklore archives of much of England, but particularly in collections covering the West Country and the North Country. For example, in his section regarding Christmas observances, J. B. Partridge recorded then current 1914 Christmas customs in Yorkshire, Britain involving the Yule Log as related by Mrs. Day, Minchinhampton, Gloucestershire, a native of Swaledale. The custom is as follows The Yule log is generally given, and is at once put on the hearth. It is unlucky to have to light it again after it has once been started, and it ought not go out until it has burned away. To sit around the Yule log and tell ghost stories is a great thing to do on this night, also card playing. Two large colored candles are a Christmas present from the grocery. Just before supper on Christmas Eve, where fermity is eaten, while the Yule log is burning, all other lights are put out, and the candles are lit from the Yule log by the youngest person present. While they are lit, all are silent and wish. It is common practice for the wish to be kept a secret. Once the candles are on the table, silence may be broken. They must be allowed to burn themselves out, and no other lights may be lit that night. H.J. Rose records a similar folk belief from Killinghall, Yorkshire in 1923. In the last generation the Yule log was still burned, and a piece of it saved to light the next year's log. On Christmas morning something green, a leaf or the like, was brought into the house before anything was taken out. The Yule log is also attested as a custom present elsewhere in the English-speaking world, such as the United States. Robert Meyer Jr. records in 1947 that a Yule log ceremony in Palmer Lake, Colorado had occurred since 1934. He describes the custom. It starts with the Yule log sick hunt and is climaxed by drinking of wassail around the fire. Regional names The term Yule log is not the only term used to refer to the custom. It was commonly called a Yule clog in northeast England, and it was also called the Yule block in the Midlands and West Country and Ghoul block in Lincolnshire. In Cornwall, the term stock of the mock was found. Non-English names in the British Isles include Y blocks and Gwylian, the festival block in Wales, Yeal Carline, the Christmas old wife in Scotland and block Nanolig, the Christmas block in Ireland. The custom of burning a Yule log for one or more nights starting on Christmas Eve was also formerly widespread in France, where the usual term is butch de Noël. This may derive from a custom requiring peasants to bring a log to their lord. In Burgundy, gifts would be hidden under the log. Prayers were offered as the log was lighted in Brittany and in Provence, where the custom is still widely observed and called Cacho Fio, blessing of the log. The log, or branch from a fruit-bearing tree, is first paraded three times around the house by the grandfather of the family, then blessed with wine. It is often lighted together with the saved ashes of the previous year's log. Other regional names include Cos de Nau in Berry, Mouchon de Nau in Angamois, Chouquet in Normandy, Souche in the Ile de France, and Trefouillau in the Vendée. The custom has now long been replaced by the eating of a log-shaped cake, also named Butch de Noel. Baltic people also have a similar ritual called log pulling. Latvian, Bluka Vilksana, Lithuanian, Blukio Vilkimo, where people in a village would drag a log, Latvian, Blukis, Lithuanian, Blukis, or a tree stump through the village at the winter solstice and then at the end burn it. Ashen faggot. Similarities have been observed with the custom of the ashen faggot, recorded solely in the West Country of England. First recorded at the beginning of the 19th century and occurring up until at least 2003 in some areas, the ashen faggot is burnt on Christmas Eve, is associated with a variety of folk beliefs, and is made of smaller ash sticks bound into a faggot with strips of hazel, withy, or bramble. G. R. Wiley observes that the ashen faggot may have developed out of the Yule log. Analogues 
As early as Jacob Grimm in the early 18th century, scholars have observed parallels between the South Slavic custom of the Badniak and the Yule log tradition. As observed by M. E. Durham, 1940, the Badniak is a sapling that is placed on the hearth on Christmas Eve. Varying customs involving the Badniak may be performed, such as smearing it with foul blood or goat blood and the ashes may be strewn on the fields or garden to promote fertility on New Year's Eve. Notes References External links <laughs>